a New York City program that provides young unwed mothers with much needed support. You're watching NBC4 HD. And now, Chuck Scarborough, Sue Simmons, Janice Huff, and Len Berman. This is News Channel 4 at 11. A social program provides poor, unwed young mothers with one-on-one -on -one education and support. Government Affairs reporter Melissa Russo has more on the initiative that is expensive but could save the city money in the long run. Even though Tasha Ayala is living in poverty with no help from her son's father and no money for furniture, she's counting her blessings because of the help she gets from a nurse named Caprice. And while you're reading to him, you want to animate your voice a little bit so it, it gets him a little bit excited as well. Look at him, he's excited already. Caprice has been visiting Tasha regularly since she was a few months pregnant as part of the Nurse Family Partnership, a city anti-poverty program Mayor Bloomberg likes so much he wants to expand it to all low-income first-time mothers. You want to make sure that you don't leave them in the bathroom alone. Caprice helped Tasha get into a shelter for pregnant moms after the city initially rejected her application. Then she helped her get housing. They also work on breastfeeding, bonding, and behavioral issues. Now Caprice is helping Tasha keep her new home safe and her future productive. She's constantly asking me about my GED, about my education. She's, she's always on me I'm about my education. That mom, you're teaching her how to become responsible, to, uh, to also to become a part of society, to contribute to the society, which will ultimately lead to someone who will become a taxpayer. Compared with other home visiting programs, this one is considered expensive at $5,500 per family per year. For every tax dollar the city spends on this program, studies have shown they're bound to save about $3 by helping people avoid much more expensive problems down the road. Problems like neglect, abuse, developmental delays, injuries and hospitalizations, unemployment, and additional unplanned pregnancies. Something that's so important that I want to touch base on is the importance of uh, birth control. Some policy experts say a widespread education campaign about unintended pregnancies might be a more effective strategy to end poverty. Some are calling for a broader awareness campaign about the consequences of single motherhood, praising this program as worthwhile, but just a Band-Aid. What the real issue here is that we have these single mothers who are having children very young, uh, if not in their teens, then, then in their early 20s, and who are unmarried. But regardless of marital status, the city will help nurse more than...